Today I'm going to be doing my first ever makeup tutorial. <laughs> um, I was talking to my friend the other day and they told me that I should make a YouTube video where I walk you through makeup and like teach you, I guess. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Welcome to a sunny book nook. My name is Sunny, I use they, them pronouns, and I am gonna be showing you how I do my makeup, what techniques I use. I think that I am qualified to do this because, <laughs> and I will show you my various qualifications, mostly because I will do like book inspired looks, and I've also been tr messing around with makeup for like all of my adolescence and playing around with it, trying to convey messages and aesthetics through it in a creative way. I think, I think I'm good at it <laughs> enough for me to try to teach you. Also because I've like individually taught my friends how to do their makeup or like, like given them product recommendations and like told them how to do things. So I guess we'll just be doing that in this format today on, on video. I have my makeup bag with me. I actually have multiple makeup bags. I don't, because I'm like moving around a lot, I don't really have a setup or like a vanity situation. Okay, again, I grew up on like 2014 to 2019 Beauty Guru YouTube. That was my shit. Like that was literally all I used YouTube for was to watch makeup videos. <laughs> and this is before I even like owned any. So I just like was basically taking notes in my mind uh, for one day when I did. And now I do own like a ridiculous amount of makeup. Like this isn't even all I have. It's just what I have in my little packages. But this is um all my like various face makeup and stuff. I am gonna go, I usually use a beauty blender mostly because I like how it looks on my skin the most. So I'm gonna go rinse this because in order to use a beauty blender, you need to like clean it every time you use it and also rinse it in water so it becomes like all soaked and puffy. And that way you can like dab it with a towel so then it's like not as wet, but it's still a sponge. Cause it's sponge, it's a, it's a makeup sponge. So I just wa went to the bathroom, which is right there which is why the light is on now. But yeah, rinse my beauty blender. It's all clean and nice now. Um, it doesn't might not look clean, but that's just because makeup stains shit. Like, come on. Typically, like, you're going to want to have your moisturizer on, your, your sunscreen on. Sunscreen's important to protect your skin from damage. And also, of course, moisturizer is good for you too. So usually, you know, you got to have that base on. But I didn't do that today because, yo, I'm not going anywhere. Also, it's all... Most of the day has passed already, the sun's gonna set, there's no reason to put on sunscreen now. Anyways, that's my excuse, but typically you would wanna do that. I'm gonna go through like my products that I use as well. Um, and these are, I guess the recommendations, but they're also like do your own research because products that work for one person might not work well for another. My skin is kind of like combination oily um, and I'm sort of acne prone. So, but it, my skin is not sensitive at all. So that's sort of my skin background. Um, and usually I like to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I use the shade Medium Sand. So usually what I do is, hold on, I don't even have a mirror. I went ahead and grabbed a little like silk scarf bandana situation to get it like away from my face while I'm doing this. And plus like I, as you know, if you watch my videos, like I wear my hair like this a lot anyways of a dollop and also it's like very thick and kind of moussey but it feels very lightweight once again and i'm gonna do a little bit more like a pea size less than a, half a pea sized amount for more coverage usually where i need it right now on my jaw and like cheek area it's kind of stuff's going on and then also around my nose and up here the friend who told me that i should like make a makeup tutorial situation on my youtube channel is a poet and they are lovely and very talented they're the st louis youth poet laureate actually um or they were a year ago or a couple of years ago at this point they like read a lot of poetry obviously as is necessary for one's craft <laughs> and so we were talking about books and stuff and just media and I told them that we should do like a book exchange and I was thinking about doing a reading vlog around a gift exchange, book exchange situation where they give me some books that are off of their shelves that I should read and I give them books that I think that they would enjoy. 
I'm thinking, I, I'm already curating the little list of books off my shelf that I'm going to give them that I think they're going to absolutely adore. Um, at least I can only hope. So <laughs> look forward to that vlog, I guess. So that's the base. I think my skin looks nice. It doesn't look unnatural or anything. I think, I think she looks good. Next, let me show you the concealers that I use. So these are the three concealers that I rotate through. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use the shade um, Medium 1.5 Macadamia. And this is a really, really pretty concealer. Everyone who uses it like really likes it. Um, but this is sort of like my skin tone shade exactly. This is the Milk Makeup Concealer. Like the shit has rubbed off. <laughs> but this is in, I don't know what, this is in the shade Light Sand. And this is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so I use it under my eyes a little bit. And then this is the Rare Beauty Concealer. I like this. It's very moussey as well and like lightweight, kind of similar to, like a, like a thinner texture than the Amazonian Clay Tarte Foundation, but like kind of similar to it. It's very high coverage and it's very like yellow in tone, so I like to use it around the lower half of my face and around my nose. So I think I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup under my eyes and do the Rare Beauty around my cheeks and I'm going to just... Put the NARS away for now because she's not really necessary for this situation currently. One of the big like beauty trends for a while was doing the big like triangle under your eye with like a super super light concealer and that was never really something I was ever doing but I've adopted that sort of like technique a little bit. I mean I think everyone has in order to you know give some dimension to your face, brighten it up under the under eye, that type of that typical shit right? And I just kind of like press it in gently around, blend it out. So I think that looks nice. It's like pretty light coverage, it's not that heavy. Whereas this, this shit is, I feel like pretty heavy duty and the doe foot applicator is like super, I don't know, it's super unique I feel. But yeah, I'm just gonna put it on gently, just pat it to where I think I need it. So now that I've, you know, spotted that on, I'm going to go ahead and blend it all out. If I'm looking below the camera, like, lens, it's because I'm looking at myself in the mirror, which is set right below the camera right now. I know this type of content is, you know, not typical for my bookish channel, but because I do so many, like, book looks anyways, and because I try to do fun makeup for my videos. I think, I, I don't think it's too out there to try to show you guys my, my get ready with me <laughs> type, type beat. So I think that's like kind of nicely blended out. Um, and this is kind of why I also like using the beauty blender. Like it just blends out so nicely and I'm a fan, I'm just a fan. So there we go. And then, done with the sponge, I use this hourglass like powder brush. I It's so luxurious, I love it so much. The powder that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I like it, I use the shade 220. I just get a lot of powder on the brush and then go mostly around my, like over my eyeball and then around my cheek, jaw, chin, on my nose, forehead, just like stipple, 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 just to set all the liquid products that I just put on my face. And I'm using like thin light layers that you build on top of as opposed to like thick things, thick layers, because it's easier to work with. Putting this stuff away. Oh, another um, powder that I use. This is for like my summer shade when I'm a bit more tan. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, powder, which I've also been using for a little bit. Oh, a foundation brush that I will use if I don't want to do the work of like cleaning and rinsing my sponge is this It Cosmetics double sided concealer and foundation brush, which I like and I think is good. The next part of this is going to be eyebrows, I think. And usually for my eyebrows, I will use the Anastasia. Beverly Hills brow powder in the shade granite and this is what it looks like 
it is like a dual shade like a lighter more ashy tone and then uh like a actual like black situation and i'll use this juno and co like eyeliner <laughs> brush for my eyebrows and i'll do that when i want a little bit more of a natural more more legit eyebrow look i'll use the powder because it's more it takes it's more of a process and i'll also just like use my spoolie to come through my brows i have very sparse eyebrows obviously so i don't really have much to comb through but you know it's good to get it in the semblance of a direction before you put product in it and if i don't want to do this i will use the kosas brow what's it called just the kosas brow pencil which has a spoolie on the end that's like really nice actually it's like very sharp and precise or and it has you know your typical like you know retractable brow pencil type situation i'll use this if i don't have as much time and, and more in a rush but i think i have the time today so i'm gonna be doing my eyebrows as i typically do and like i said i have very sparse like east asian <laughs> facial hair situation um so i just go dab dab on both sides of it and i'll start off in the here let me move a little bit closer I'll start off in the arch of the brow and I like to have more straight brows and kind of end the tail where it naturally ends um, which is pretty short right and then kind of do gentle strokes as I move forward closer to the inside of my brow and I'll just like stop right where my natural hair stops and do some more gentle strokes um, yeah, so that's kind of like laying down the shape, and then I can touch it up later, then I'm going to do a double tap again. Do the same thing on my other eyebrow. Um, eyebrows are, you know, sisters not twins or whatever, but uh, for me especially, because my eyebrows are pretty uneven, since, again, they're very sparse, I'm not that concerned with them matching up too well. I just follow the natural shape and line of my hairs and just go in that way and I use light feathery strokes as much as I can as much as I try and then I will go ahead and use the Kosas um, spoolie to comb it through blend it in make it look more natural I suppose but I don't really believe in the idea of makeup, like, looking natural or whatever. I think makeup is makeup. Uh, you shouldn't be trying to trick yourself or other people into thinking that your face looks like something it doesn't. Or it's not you shouldn't, but I don't think that's a good mindset to really have. It becomes, it's a really easy way to get develop, like, facial dysmorphia and a dependence on makeup when it's just not worth it. So... After that, I usually will, sometimes I'll add texture to my brow with using the Benefit Gimme Brow in all the, all the text is rubbed off, but it has like little fibers in it and it's like, I have it in like the gray color. And when I like put it through my brows, it, it, it puts some color in there and also I think adds a bit more texture, which, you know, I desperately need considering I don't really have eyebrows and if I'm doing my makeup, I might as well you know, fake that I do, um, and it's kind of a, more of a dry product, more of a dry brow product, it's not very, like, wet and goopy, I guess, so there's that, it's tinted, but not, v not very pigmented, I guess, which I think is a really, oh, key aspect of a brow product, is that it can't be too pigmented, you can't, use it too heavily otherwise it's sort of it's not really the point of an eyebrow product I don't think you kind of have to build it up lightly so not perfectly even but that's not what, what I'm really concerned with so the benefit 24 hour brow setter it locks that shit in um, I'll show you it has this sort of like brush it's like flat with little bristles on each end and for the flat part I just kind of set it on the arch of my brow and comb it through get the little tail and then go into the front end then 
other eyebrow, flat side, comb it through. Gentle little strokes as usual. Um, so yeah, that kind of just sets it all in and makes sure that they don't come off. <laughs> all of the hard work in your eyebrows doesn't just wipe right off. So onto the cheeks. For bronzer, I'll use the NARS Laguna bronzer this the brown the bronzer shade obviously this is the orgasm blush like this was top tier like classic shit on back in the day i mean i think it's still a beauty classic but sometimes i use this but not as often more often i will use the physician's formula what's it called the bronze booster light to medium shade and i will use this random brush i really don't know where it's from this random little bronzer brush that is like really fluffy to go in um, and do a little bronze contour situation. So I just go in with the tip of the, I don't dig in too deep, I just use the tip of the brush bristles. And then I kind of go in where my natural cheekbone shadow kind of is. And just sort of emphasize that. And my forehead is like naturally darker than the rest of my face obviously i think most people's are um so i will go around my temples and stuff as well sometimes i'll go on my jawline but right now i'm not really feeling it so there we go i think it brings out some dimension i don't know whether it actually changes my face that much but we're gonna pretend like it does next blush one of my favorite things i feel like if you watch my videos you know that i wear a shit ton of blush and it's because I love it. I think it's so cute. I've always loved blush. This is a Real Technique stipple brush. I really like this. I have a lot of different products over here that are blush related because I, again, I love blush. So let's just go through a couple of them. This is the Milk Makeup Cheek and Lip Tint. It's like so ratty because I use it so much. You can roll it up and there's so much product. I'm never gonna use that. It's like this really pretty berry shade. So I will use that sometimes. I feel like it's like it's a good winter or summer shade. It's just so, it makes you look so bright and lifted. And I've, I've worn this a lot in videos. So there's that. And, and it smells really good too. I also use the Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in the shade Captivating for like a light, more peachy pink, I guess. And it's a little bit more neutral. I have another one of the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes. I... I like these. I've I've been using this since I was like 14, like 13, and they've always been good, honestly. And this is in the shade Seduce, and it's a little bit more of a mauve, more like taupey and like uh, more cool toned, I guess. It's really pretty. Uh, it's almost even like terracotta-y, but the cool version and like cool toned. <laughs> and this is a pretty shade, in my opinion. So there's that. And then we have a, I have so many blushes, dude. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Blush in the shade Deep Fonce. This is a orange color. It's very pretty in my opinion, but it's good for mostly like summer and days where you just want that coral orange burst on your cheeks. Very fun. And then I have the Kaja Beauty, like sort of like bento box uh, cream blush in the shade 01 Juicy Watermelon. It's called Cute Bento. And the first shade is this, I've, like, it's, I've hit pan f like for real on this. The first shade is like this mauve, more neutral shade. And then the next one is like this really, really pretty like pink. It's so pretty. So I like this one. They both blend out really nice, very creamy. And then we have our rare beauty blushes. I have a couple of these liquid blushes, but the ones I have in my bag right now is this one, which is in the shade um, Grateful, and it's like a hot pink. And then I also have it in the shade Love, which is the first one of the liquid, the Rare Beauty liquid blushes that I've used that I loved and it made me want to get more. So I really like the shade. It's like this, it's the prettiest pink, honestly. So I might even use this, I don't know. But my last blush I have here is another Rare Beauty blush and this is the cream blush in the shade Nearly Apricot. And their packaging is so fucking adorable. This is what it looks like. It is so pretty. It's sort of like cream to powder, I feel almost. 
in its texture and wear and it's like this you know nearly apricot shade very cute i'm just gonna use the rare beauty liquid blush to try to show you how i do it so it has the same like doe foot applicator as the concealer and it's very pigmented so i just do a little dot here little dot here and i place my blush higher on my face to like lift it up a bit and i go in with my stipple blush brush and just you know blend that shit out And that's like a really nice natural tint, I think, but I like to go a little bit heavier, as you know. So I'm going to go in again, another dot, dot. And I like to go in, when I'm adding more, I will go in uh, at both, I will go at both cheeks at the same time to like try to make it a bit more even, you know. And I'll bring it all the way back to like my ear. Um. So there we go. Lots of blush, that's what I like. So that's my base. This is like my day-to-day -day base. I'm gonna wear makeup. This is what it's gonna look like. And then my eye makeup and lip and obviously the color of my blush will change. But today for eye makeup, and lips. Mm, I think I'll do something a little bit more complicated, but I don't really know what yet. I'll show you some of my favorite products. Oh, I might even try something new because I got this new Laura Mercier stick and it's like this matte black color and it's one of the, you know, roll up shades. I might just try this and see what I can do. Let me move up. I love like a black winged eyeliner. I use the Stila Stay All Day black eyeliner liquid liner i've been using this for years the staple like for me i don't really have that many makeup bag staples because i like to try different products whether that be foundation to concealers like anything i will try different products different brands all the time different colors but this is a staple because it's just nothing else is like it, it just makes making a wing so easy I also, I think, I didn't do a makeup tutorial, but I did a makeup and books tag two years ago at this point, and obviously I'll put it in the cards so you can see how I do my makeup in that video. It's probably very similar, but I also do like my winged eyeliner situation. I've been getting more into cream and pencil eyeliner as opposed to liquid eyeliner, so let's see what I can do. Actually, in before I jump right into the really intense like black eye makeup situation, let's just go through my bag. <laughs> this is my eye makeup bag. It has my brushes for eyeshadow, which is like really necessary, I think, if you're going to have palettes. And then some different colored eyeliners and uh, eyesha little eyeshadow palettes and stuff. So let's just go through it. Here are a couple different eyeliners that I have. This is like a uh, NYX sh shimmery purple lilac shade. This is a Marc Jacobs shade in the color Mist, Mist Me. It's really pretty, I love this lavender shade. I think I've worn it before in videos. There's this NYX Vivid Brights orange um, liquid eyeliner. I haven't used this in a while. I've made looks with it before though, and it was fine, it was usable, but it's not something I would recommend. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the NYX this one either i don't think it's that pigmented but the mark jacobs eye pencil beautiful stunning amazing i have other mark jacobs eye pencils as well the eye brushes that i have before i get into that i have some it cosmetics like random ones and then double-sided ones that come in like palettes that you get oh i got the rare beauty concealer brush as well but i use it for eyeshadow application and here's the fenty beauty like liquid eyeliner this was like on sale on clearance i don't think they sell it anymore and it makes sense because it's not that good of a product like it flakes off a lot and also the actual application brush is like kind of goopy it's like a paintbrush almost like a very narrow thin paintbrush it's not that user friendly so i understand why it's like not it's been discontinued but um i have a couple urban decay 24 hour glide on pencils i have this like bright green color i was really pretty and then also this whiskey is the shade and it's just like a matte dark brown very pretty and then a nyx yellow eyeliner which 
it's fine. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. And I've had this product for like years. This is the um, Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. And it's in this really pretty like iridescent green yellow shade that looks really good on my skin tone, I think. So, and I've like had it for years again. Oh, I have another one of the Fenty Beauty eyeliners and this is in the shade pink. And I have two of these Stila like glitter shimmer shadow things and they're very chunky and glittery. So if I want like a really pop glitter situation, I will use this. So I have one in like the shade Twig and it's like a brown metallic shade. It's really pretty. And then I have it in the shade Kitten Karma, which is a classic Stila shade. And this is pink and glittery and gorgeous. Then I have a cream liquid eyeshadow from Rare Beauty that's in the shade Nearly Apricot, same shade as my blush from Rare Beauty. Um, another naked palette, like double-sided eyeshadow brush. More eyeliners. <laughs> I love colored eyeliner, if you can't tell. So I have a metallic teal 24-hour glide-on from NYX, or sorry, from Urban Decay. And then I have a Real Techniques like fluffy brush that sort of like that I use for eyeshadow. And then another NYX like metallic light shade, again, mid. And then another glide on, this is like a metallic green shimmer shade. And then another Marc Jacobs shade in like a mossy green forest green color. I really like this one as well. There's a few more eyeliners. Well, this is a fluffy brush from Morphe for, you know, your crease and whatever. Um, I have this like NYX chunky jumbo eye pencil in like a glittery shade, but it's not that iridescent. So I think I'm gonna actually put her in a bin for use and not in my, my bag. Um, I have another Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil in the shade Smog. This is kind of like whiskey. It's kind of like the other shade, but sparkly, it's like a sparkly brown. And then I have a couple color pop colored eyeliners are kind of beat up. I have it in a couple different shades and I'll use these colored eyeliners if I just want a quick little colored eyeliner situation going on. I have the Milk Kush mascara and I don't, mascara isn't part of my base routine because I have really, really short straight eyelashes and monolids that like cover my eye, my color cover my eyelashes. When I wear it, it's like on rare occasions um, and if I need it for a look, this I like because it doesn't, every time I wear certain like really intense mascaras, they will literally shorten my eyelashes. Um, like they will ruin them and like destroy them. This doesn't really destroy them, but they smear, it smears everywhere. Like I can't wear it without it smearing. Um, it's very not waterproof. So I wanna have another Urban Decay Glide On pencil in the shade like gold. I don't really use this one that much. Oh, and now I have some shadow sticks and then some more eyeshadow. So I have like one of these, some of these mini sets of Laura Mercier caviar sticks in like a pink shade and like a lavender shade and like a coppery shade and a gray shade, all really pretty and all really nice and creamy and blendable. And then I have this really beautiful Natasha Denona palette. I love it so much. There is like, this blue metallic shade that is actually also like purple and brown. It's so pretty. It's like matte blending shade. And then this other metallic pink shade, so pretty, dark brown. And then another metallic like green gold shade, love, obsessed. And then I have an Urban Decay single eyeshadow that is just like a shimmery green color. And then a shimmery blue color pop single, like creamy eyeshadow, so. That's my whole bag. And I think for today, I'm gonna put everything back. For today, I think I'm going to do a look in which, I do wanna incorporate this product because this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Tuxedo. All my caviar sticks from Laura Mercier, which I enjoy obviously, are like metallic. This is the first matte one I've gotten. And I think, Mm. Also, my lips feel kind of dry, so I might put on a lip product right now. Oh, I have another caviar stick. This is like a special edition one. It's kind of in like a rose gold shade. It's called Bed of Roses. Really pretty and obviously gorgeous packaging that's like limited edition. Oh, also a highlighter as a face product I use is the Maybelline Master Stick in the shade 002. This is really pretty. Like you can just put it on the high points, blend it out. Perfect. If I want mascara that will stay and they will make my eyelashes like actually look like they exist, um, but I will know that the fallout of wearing the mascara is that 
my eyelashes will feel shorter and less healthy for like a few weeks, I will wear the Benefit Their Real Mascara. So I have a lot of lip products, like a lot. This isn't even all of them, but as you can see, it's fucking overflowing. I have a lot of reds, a lot of berries, a lot of neutrals, a lot of everything, honestly. But let's just highlight some of my favorites right now. Right now, I am obsessed with the Sephora brand liquid lipsticks. I'm I'm in love. I love them so much. Um, the one and always red is a staple. It's a classic. And um, I have other shades too, but and I've worn them in videos as well. Also, Bite Beauty, incredible. I have this their lipstick in this really pretty berry shade. And I also have one of their pencil lipsticks in another dark berry shade as well. And because I'm gonna do a dark eye and it's winter, I think I think I'll just put this on. Bite Beauty lip products taste like so good. This is like a berry, almost like brown shade, I feel like very, very deep burgundy situation going on. Um, I've probably worn this in videos. I love wearing lipstick. I love wearing lipstick period, but I love wearing dark lipstick in videos and stuff. so creamy so pretty so moisturizing and by beauty like all the product all the things that, that they use to formulate their lip products are like edible which i think is cool and it, it really shows because it really is like it tastes nice because lip products eventually become consumed as you drink water and eat it's like an inevitable part of wearing a lip product so yeah i like it it's very pigmented it's very creamy and soft and isn't it doesn't weigh that heavy on your lips. Oh, another one of my favorite products right now is the Fenty. Um, well, not right now. I've been wearing this for a while. This is the Fenty. It's the shade in Mademoiselle. 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 It's so pretty. I've worn this so much. It's so pretty. I, I'm obsessed with this shade. And I like the, the product formulation of this lipstick as well. And the structure of it, like, it's very narrow, obviously, so you can get into the little details and corners of your lips. For my eye look today, I think I'm just gonna go in to my crease with a little bit of the tan shade to kind of give some definition before I go in with this dark like this black fucking um, eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go in the outer third. I have monolids, obviously, so the way that I go about doing eye makeup is very different than when I do makeup on my friends who don't have monolids, or even if they do have monolids, like every monolid is shaped differently, honestly, and mine are pretty unique in its shape, where it's a little, like it's a little bit hooded, but not that much. Um, so yeah, I'm just using the Natasha Denona, this sort of like matte brown, shade to go in the outer third and just blend 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 blending is all eyeshadow is about honestly um do, do, do. so i think that looks kind of even even enough we're gonna break into this dark eyeliner caviar stick situation um i'm feeling very goth today with this whole look i'm gonna scoot in a bit more so you can get closer to the camera and also to my mirror I tip it with, I usually love to do a cat eye, ooh, it's so creamy and pigmented. I love to do a cat eye, maybe, I mean this isn't sharp obviously, but maybe I can do that. Hmm, that's pretty. Let me do some blending, because it's like a creamy stick, so it's supposed to be creamy and stuff. That is the whole point. Wow, that did blend out really nicely. Now it's more of like a gray than anything else. Yes, I do use my fingers while um, do, for eye products, because why not? They're right there, bro. No, oh, that's like a nice little soft wing. Let's see if I can recreate it on the other side. Just kind of go in.
There we go. I think that looks good. Um, probably not perfect, but alas, makeup rarely ever is. Um, yeah, I like this look. I think it's really dark and pretty in a good way. That is my little makeup tutorial for you today. I hope you enjoyed a sort of look through my makeup collection and my technique, product usage, how I beat my face, you know. Oh, another product that's really essential for me, the Urban Decay D-Slick spray. It's a setting spray. I douse myself in this shit. Um, <laughs> if you watched my latest vlog, I did a little get ready with me, but it wasn't with my camera. It was on my phone. So yeah, this is more detailed, more explanation going on. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> if you did, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all of that. And you know, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.